everyone welcome to my youtube channel Ravilla design today i'm going to show you how we are going to make these beautiful crochet cross bookmarks the pattern is very easy dear friends and it is really beautiful like this for example this is a book you are putting it around it it is like this if you want smaller you can make uh, these rows uh, shorter it's no problem like this if you have this kind of scrap yarns this project is very nice uh, in order to use these scrap yarns and it's a nice idea to make this kind of uh, crochet cross bookmarks as a gift uh, during Easter time I'm using a uh, cotton yarn this is 60% uh, cotton 40% uh, acrylic yarn but uh, full cotton, full acrylic yarn is also okay to use uh, this project. And I'm using 3 millimeters hook. Okay, dear friends, let's start how to make this. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell. Please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much for your support. Let's go on how to make this. We are starting from the center by making magic ring. I am taking my blue yarn in my hand. I am going to make a magic ring like this. I'm keeping. I am making three chains. One, two and three. Yarn over. I'm inserting my hook in the ring and I am going to make a double crochet like this I'm making another double crochet considering the first three chains now I have three double crochet in this now I am making two chains one two yarn over I am inserting my hook in the ring again and I am going to make three double crochet this is one double crochet this is second double crochet and this is third double crochet and I am making two chains one two yarn over again inserting my hook in the ring and making three more double crochet one two and three making two chains one two yarn over making three more double crochet this is one double crochet this is second double crochet and this is the third double crochet making two chains if we call uh, each three double crochet a block uh, let's count how many block we made this is one block this is second block third block and four block we made totally one two three four blocks like this we are going to make totally eight blocks around the ring you can make it a bit uh, to the right side in order to uh, get these two ropes together on top of another yes dear friends like this we are completing this uh, up to eight uh, blocks yes I made totally eight blocks like this one two three four five six seven and this is the eighth one now we are going to close this ring for this reason this is the yarn end I will pull this tightly I am keeping here I will pull it tightly like this it is closed now we are going to insert our hook at top of the first three chains like this now the row is closed from now on we are going to make this one this one and this one 
Later on, the other one we are going to make it. We are making three chains. One, two, three. Yarn over. You know, we are here, here in this gap. Now we are going to the following space here. We are now here in this space. We are skipping the following uh, block and we are coming to the following space after making three chains. Inserting my hook in there, making a double crochet, making the second double crochet and making the third double crochet. Two chains. Inserting our hook in the same space and we are making three more double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. Like this. Yarn over. I am going to the following space. This time I am going to make a triple crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. Making three chains. One, two, three. Turning back, yarn over. Inserting our hook in this space here. We are making three double crochet. This is one double crochet. This is second double crochet. And this is the third double crochet. Two chains, yarn over, inserting our hook in the same space and making three more double crochet. This is two, this is three. Yarn over, I am going to this space here, making a triple crochet. One, two, three. One, two, three chains, turning to the other side. First of all, we are making three double crochet. This is one double crochet. This is second double crochet. And this is the third double crochet. Making two chains. One, to yarn over, inserting our hook in this same space and making three more double crochet like this. Yarn over, inserting our hook in this space and making a triple crochet. Making three chains. One, two, three. Turning to the other side, yarn over, inserting our hook in the space and we are making three double crochet. We made one, now we made two and we made three. Two chains, one, two. Yarn over, inserting our hook in the same space and making three double crochet. This is two and this is three. Making triple crochet. For this reason, I'm making a yarn over, inserting my hook in this space. One, two, three times pull through. I'm making and making a triple crochet. Except the first row, we made one, two, three, four rows. I'm not counting the first row. I'm counting only this. One, two, three, four rows we made. Let's count how many rows we should do. We are not counting the first row. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this is also one, two, three, four. And this long one, we are not uh, counting the first row again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. Okay. Since we are uh, now making these uh, three pieces, four row is okay. What we are doing now, we are making one chain, 
end, just cutting the yarn. I am making a slip knot firstly. Yarn over. Here, you know, the space that we made a uh, triple crochet here. I am inserting my hook in there. Yarn over, pull through, making a single crochet. And like this, I am fixing the yarn. I made the single crochet. I am counting this as a first chain. And then upon this, I am making two chains more. Now we have three chains. I am going to the following space. We fix the yarn here in this space here, this space. We fix the yarn. Now I am making three chains and I am going to the following space and making first of all three double crochet. This is one, this is two, and this is three. Two chains. Yarn over and inserting my hook in the same space, making three more double crochet. One, two, and this is three. We made three double crochet, two chains and three double crochet. I'm making yarn over, skipping this following block and inserting my hook in the following space and making a triple crochet. One, two, three. Three chains. One, two, three. Yarn over, turning to the other side, inserting our hook in this space, making a double crochet. Making the second double crochet, making the third double crochet. Two chains. One, two. Yarn over, Inserting my hook in the same space here, making the second double crochet and making the third double crochet like this. Yarn over and here this space I am inserting my hook here, making a triple crochet. One, two, Three. One, two, three chains, turning to the other side, inserting our hook at top of this uh, pattern, and firstly making our first three double crochet. One, two, and three. Two chains, one, two, yarn over, inserting our hook in the same space and making three more double crochet one two and three yarn over inserting our hook in this space making a triple crochet one two three making three chains one two three chains Turning to the other side, yarn over, inserting our hook at top of this pattern here, making three double crochet firstly. This is one, this is two, and this is three. Making one, two chains, yarn over, inserting our hook in this space, and making three double crochet one two and this is three let me show you like this yarn over i am going to this space here in the side and making a triple crochet one two three times pull through i made and made a triple crochet i am not counting the uh, first row Except the first row, one, two, three, four rows we made. That means uh, we finished also the second piece. 
and I made one chain and cutting the yarn. We made this one, this one. Now we are going to the third one. I'm taking my blue yarn again in my hand. First of all, I am making a slip knot like this, pulling. After making slip knot, I am inserting my hook here in this space, the space that we made a triple crochet. Here, this space I am inserting my hook and I am making a single crochet in there and like this I fixed my yarn. Yarn over. I am skipping this following block, going to the following space, inserting my hook in there and making a double crochet like this. Making another double crochet. Making the third double crochet. Making one, two chains, yarn over, inserting our hook in the same space and making three more double crochet. One moment. This is one double crochet. This is second double crochet. And this is the third double crochet. Yarn over. I am going to the following space uh, by skipping the following block. Like this, I am inserting my hook in there and I am making a triple crochet. One, two and three. Three chains. One, two, three. Turning to the other side. Yarn over. Inserting our hook uh, in this space at top and first of all making three double crochet. This is one double crochet. This is the second double crochet. This is the third double crochet. Later on I'm making two chains. Yarn over, inserting our hook in the same space and making three more double crochet. One, two and three yarn over. Inserting our hook in this space here and making a triple crochet. One, two, three. Making three chains. One, two, three. Turning to the other side, yarn over. Inserting our hook at top, making Three double crochet firstly, and then two chains, inserting our hook in the same space, making three more double crochet, yarn over, inserting our hook in this space and making a triple crochet like this. Making three chains. One, two, three. After making three chains, I'm turning to the other side. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the space at top. First of all, making three double crochet. This is one double crochet. This is the second double crochet. And this is the third double crochet. Two chains, making Three more double crochet. Yarn over, inserting my hook in the space at side and making a triple crochet by three time pull through. Except the first uh, row, we are counting how many rows we made. One, two, three, four. That means we completed also the third piece. Now we are going to make the long one with uh, eight rows. I'm taking my blue yarn in my hand again. I'm starting by making slip knot. Then 
this space the space that we made triple crochet I'm inserting my hook in there in that space and making a single crochet yarn over I am going to the following space here like this inserting my hook in there and in that space I'm making three double crochet I made two I'm making one more two chains three more double crochet this is one double crochet this is second double crochet and this is the third double crochet yes we made three double crochet two chains three double crochet and I'm inserting my hook in this space let me show you here and making a triple crochet one two three the pattern is the same dear friends one two three chains I'm making turning to the other side inserting my hook in the space at top making three more double crochet firstly this is a one double crochet two double crochet and three double crochet two chains three double crochet more this is a one this is two and this is three yes we made one two rows i'm not counting the first row we made two rows like this uh, we are going to make totally eight rows dear friends let's go on like this and let's come to the end of the eighth row yes i made totally eight rows one two three four five six seven eight i am making one chain and cutting the yarn it is mainly finished now I'm going to show you how I am going to hide these yarn ends. Only one time I'm going to show you. You can make uh, the rest in the same way. I'm taking a small size hook in my hand. Uh, you know, I crocheted this with three millimeters hook like this. And I'm taking a one and a half millimeters hook. It is easier for me to while hiding the yarn ends. I am hiding it in the back side like this this is the front side this is this is the back side as if uh, crocheting I am making pull through the yarn end between the stitches a few times I am doing this now I am turning to the other side in order to fix it well. Okay, I can cut the rest. It's hidden very well. This is the front side, this is the back side. It's not visible. Uh, you can hide all the yarn ends like this. I cleaned all the yarn ends. It's like this. Now we are going to make these borders all around all pieces. I'm again taking my blue yarn in my hand, making a slip knot firstly. I am starting here from the right side at top. I'm inserting my hook in there like this and fixing the yarn with a single stitch. Yarn over making two chains one, two inserting my hook in the following stitch here and making a single stitch going to the following stitch making a single stitch making two chains 
coming to the center, making a single stitch, making another single stitch in this big space, making two chains, going to the following stitch and making a single stitch, going to the following stitch, making a single stitch, two chains, one, two, going to the space, making a single stitch, making another single stitch in the same space, making two chains, coming to this stitch, inserting my hook in there, making a single stitch, inserting my hook in the space, making a single stitch, making two chains, inserting my hook in the space again, inserting my hook in this space, making a single stitch, making two chain, inserting my hook in the same space, making a single stitch, making another single st stitch in this here, two chains, single stitch in the same space and I am not making anything here I am just going to the other uh, space like this two chains single stitch going to the following space two chains single stitch going to the other space making a single stitch two chains making a single stitch making another single stitch in the same space two chains going to the following stitch making a single stitch in the same way we are making dear friends it's been like this, like this. Let's complete all around in the same way and come to the place that we start. I am at the end. I am inserting my hook at top of the first stitch, making a slip stitch, making one chain and cutting the yarn. I'm hiding the yarn ends in the same way I showed you before. Yes, I hid all the yarn ends, they are clean now. Now we are going to make this flower and these chains. We are starting from the little flower. For this reason, I'm taking my blue yarn in my hand and I am making a magic ring. making one chain, inserting my hook in the ring and making a single crochet and then half double crochet and then double crochet then half double crochet then single crochet now half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet. We made two paddle. Now we are going to make the third one, half double crochet. double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet. Okay, now we are going to pull the yarn end. Now we have a very small flower. From now on, we are going to make the chains. 
firstly I'm closing uh, this ring with the slip stitch I'm inserting my hook at top of the first single stitch yarn over pull through making a slip stitch I closed it from now on I am going to make chains 15 centimeters of chain I'm making like this I am making 15 centimeters of chains yes I made 15 centimeters of chains like this now I am going to fix it at top of this one this is the long one these are the uh, shorter ones I'm going to uh, fix it at top of this space like this I am fixing with a slip stitch I'm going to the following stitch making another slip stitch going to the following stitch making another slip stitch I'm doing this in order to fix well now I'm making one chain I am cutting the yarn it is finished dear friends I am hiding these yarn ends uh, in order to hide this I'm going to use a needle because it is long I'm taking a needle like this I will make the needle pull through through the stages I'm going to do it a few times meanwhile um, I want to inform you I also hit the yarn end uh, in the center of this magic ring in the same way I did it uh, with the needle You can also uh, hide it with a um, uh, hook but uh, if the yarn ain't long it is better to hide with the needle. I'm making a knot in order to fix well. Okay regarding the shorter one you can use small size hook as I uh, showed you. Now it is completely finished. From now on I am going to iron it. For this reason I will turn it to the back side. I will press the steam, iron steam on it and I will uh, make it neatly with my hands like this. I am going to make a steam ironing. I made this steam ironing for this reason. They look very neatly. I will also do for this. Okay, dear friends, we came to the end of another project video. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials. I will be happy if you subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell, and please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos in order to support me for my future video tutorials. Thank you and thank you again. See you in the coming videos.